Hey everyone, it's Celeste and welcome to my booktube channel. So I want to film right now before I procrastinate anymore. I want to film my end of the year book tag uh, for 2021. So the last time I did this book tag last year, I did it like at the end of the year and you're not really supposed to do it at the very end of the year. You're supposed to kind of do it getting towards the end of the year. So here I go with it. Uh, there's six questions, okay? So let's get into it. Um, the first question asks, are there any books you started this year that you still need to finish? Okay, so for that I have Firekeeper's Daughter by Angeline Bully. Um, it's good, but it's a chunky thing. And as you can see, I'm like half done with it. And the problem is, is that I am interested in it, but I'm not super interested in it. And so I've put it down and picked up other things. And so what I've got to do at this point is make it a priority. So I read multiple books at a time. So what I'll need to do is go, okay, for the first section of this time that I'm reading, um, I'm going to read this book first. And then if I get interested in it, I keep reading it or I can switch to something else that I'm reading. So that's my answer for number one. Uh, number two, do you have an autumnal book to transition into the end of the year? So in the autumn, I mean, I read, I mood read. So I read whatever I want, whenever I want, basically. But in the fall, I tend to read horror and thriller and mystery and some ooky. So, you know, like I slip in some like seasonal romances too, but generally it's kind of dark and spooky this half of the year. And so I would say my answer for that is that I'm reading Arsenic and Adobo by Mia P. Mia P. Men and Sala. And it's another one of my book of the month books. And it is a cozy mystery. Um, and it's good. I like it. Like I, I dig a cozy mystery sometimes. I mean, they, sometimes they just really mm, fit the bill. Okay. Um, Question number three, is there a new release you're still waiting for? So I don't always just like get very stirred up about new releases. Um, some authors I follow pretty closely, so I do buy their new releases and I really want to support them. Um, but this one isn't that case. This one is more about like I learned about what the book is about. And sometimes I'll look at a list of like what's coming up and get ideas based on that. But uh, what I'm interested in reading coming up is King of Battle and Blood by Scarlet St. Clair. It is vampires. Hmm? And I'm excited because I know there's a lot of hype going on about uh, Jay Kristoff's new book that has vampires in it. But I don't want to read from him. So look, Google, Google why someone wouldn't want to read for him, from him. I don't want to read from him. So this... Sounds like it's up my alley. It's angsty and romantic and dark and spooky and vampires. And I'm feeling that. Um, okay. And then number four, question number four. What are three books you want to read before the end of the year? Okay. So I have about a month and a half-ish, you know, to get, to get through these. So the first of the three is going to be Razorblade Tears by S.A. Cosby. Um, this is one that I got in my book of the month box back in July, and I really want to get to it sooner than later. Um, and it also kind of fits with my seasonal stuff because they're dealing with like this mystery and trying to solve this, you know, answer to the crime. Okay. Um, I also want to get to some fantasy with The Well of Ascension by Brandon Sanderson, my floppy paperback copy. Um, I read the first of the Mistborn novels uh, earlier this year, and one of my goals is to read more Brandon Sanderson this year, so there you go. I'll be continuing on with that. There's not much to say about that one because it's the second, but it has to do with like this whole other world, and the Dark Lord has come into power, and, and you know, you've got this chosen one trope, and she's a girl. Mm -mm. Yeah. And I also like their magic system where they ingest metals and it causes them to be able to, to perform certain acts. And I just think that it's really well thought out 
and Brandon Sanderson knows how to he knows how to how to how to string out a story like the books are chonky but they're good um, and then the third book that I would like to get to this year and I think it would be a quick read for me is Hail Mary by Andy Weir um, I read The Martian a while back and so and I really enjoyed it like he has a good tone sort of like this like friendly guy tone and it's science fiction and so yeah I'm, I'm interested and also you know the synopsis of it like this astronaut wakes up and I think he's the only one left alive who came out of like the hypersleep or whatever and he's got to figure out how to fix things you know from where he is before you know mass death you know it's kind of typical sci-fi type thing um okay so question number five let's move on question number five is there a book you think could still shock you and become your fave book of the year so i think that the most likely book to do that is gonna be razor blade tears i've heard some really amazing things about it and it was a, one of the runners up for the book of the year from book of the month so that i think th i think that's going to be it if not that it it could be well of ascension like i just showed you guys that the well of ascension okay because uh brandon sanderson is like excellent so you can kind of count on him um number six last question have you already started making reading plans for next year not really <laughs> Um, I usually wait until December to do that, so I haven't really gotten into that. Um, not that there's anything wrong with getting into that, but, like, I'm still focused on now, so I haven't looked ahead. So I think whenever I get into, like, looking at some of the upcoming, uh, like, like that happen in January and February, some of the readathons and things that happen, okay, and when I set, like, my Goodreads, uh, goal, for the number of books read I've I mean in the not really like vaguely nebulously in the corner of my mind I'm thinking of having a tome year I talked about this with some of my bookish friends um I've got a lot of like fat books and I tend to not go towards them because I'm not a fast reader like I know you see that I've read so many books but I'm, I'm not a fast reader I probably don't read much faster than like you know almost like reading out loud and so those chonky books i mean especially if i'm having like a lot of stuff going on at work and whatever uh yeah so i'm gonna maybe concentrate on those in the upcoming year that's that's, that's as close as i've got to a to any reading plans uh, that's uh, it's like oh maybe i should read all these big books i have it's close as i got to a plan so anyway that is my end of the year book tag for 2021. Let me know if you've read these books or if you want to read these books. Like, what do you think of my answers? Like, I don't know. Has anyone make has anyone made plans for next year's reading goals? Like, I I don't know. Maybe I'm just not living that kind of life yet. But anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Um, I noticed recently that I hit over 100 subscribers. So welcome to all you new people. Mm, yay, thanks for subscribing. I promise I'm going to keep posting stuff. So there you go. Um, if you want to comment but not really comment and you want to leave me an emoji, leave me uh, the open book emoji. Okay, because we got the books open. We got to finish strong this year. All right, y'all. So I will talk to you guys later. Bye.